Welcome back to the Lugamed Lounge, the cozy space for everybody who loves Lucas and Elizabeth. Today we have me, Jillian. And me, Blanca. And me, Div. And we might have Linda joining in a little bit. <laughs> um, today's topic is, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know what we're going to talk about, you guys. We're just going to have a little chit chat in the lounge, okay? I hope that's okay with everybody. Um, because, you guys, the season is starting on Sunday. Hmm. In just days, we will be watching One Calls the Heart again. Just to recap, where we where we left off last season... They're engaged. Mm -hmm. Our boy and our girl are engaged. Linda's here. True. Can we hear Linda? We can hear yes. Linda now. Linda, say hello. I can hear you. Hello. Okay. So Div is going to do facilitate a little recap from season six just to um, keep the flow of like where we started and now where we are starting off huh? from season six. From season six. Yeah, we're going to kind of keep this brief because obviously we've talked about this ad nauseum, but we feel like this is a good ad nauseum because, you know, we love our couple and we love this show. And we do have to be slightly repetitive because, you know, we're talking about like the same couple and the same characters and the same storylines. Um, but just kind of thinking back, just reflecting to where they started and to where they are, it's like we said you know now they're engaged but when they started out the first time they met on the street in front of the saloon um they had no idea where they were going to end up um which we're hoping is wedding in season 10 um but just going back to that I think I've told you guys I'm one of those like where they started and where they are I don't know how how it's worded anymore even I've done edits about it how it started and how oh, it's started. going through yeah 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 so they never i i mean he said that he kind of knew from the moment he saw her that you know she was the one for him but obviously she didn't so and i said i think in the next episode is my favorite ever elizabeth quote where she talks about how uh she's met charmers like him before and um how the what is it the something always withers on the vine. Oh my gosh, I've already forgotten my favorite quote. But basically, like, just going from what she used to think of him to, like, now he's, like, everything to her. Um, well, besides Little Jack. It's just, it's amazing. So we just kind of wanted to talk about that briefly because um, we've already kind of talked about it was always Lucas and stuff. Um, I think Jillian kind of knew from the beginning it took me a little longer and Linda's going to have to tell us how long it took her. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, Blanca, it took you longer than that. So you you guys yeah. want to talk about just really quickly, like, when you knew it was going to be Lucas and Elizabeth. I just thought, oh, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, Linda. Yeah, you no, may inspire me. I mean, so. I, I was like Jillian. I kind of saw it from the beginning myself. And, okay, wait, wait. I did not see it from the beginning. Oh, okay. no it took me a while oh okay okay when do you remember when ish it was like season eight it was late for me wow oh i don't know why i thought it was sooner okay so each person so jillian was season eight blanca a little sooner than season eight i think season seven yeah hmm. mostly because they okay. started to have like very specific one by one scenes I don't know if you say it that way but just the two of them like in a romantic environment yeah. so to speak so and she didn't have that with Nathan so that was a big clue for me and that's when I saw it that the end was going to be them before I, yeah I will say like looking back on it it's super obvious to me that it was like right from the beginning but I yeah. didn't like yeah. I was like still kind of hung up on Jack Yes, and and I think that's yeah. where we are all kind of different because I yeah. didn't start watching until until season six. So uh, yeah. while I knew the background of the story, I didn't really have the whole history, and I hadn't seen the whole thing. So mm -hmm. to me, 
some of the things that were said are just like, okay, these are just kind of creating, you know, her resistance to it uh, right from the start. Like the quote that you were talking about, Div, uh, where mm -hmm. she was talking about how, you know, she's seen players like that and, you know, mm -hmm. she's been there, done that. So yeah. it, to me, it just seemed like they were setting it up from the very start for me. Um, and that's mm -hmm. how I kind of saw it. So. Yeah. Um, for me, it was the end of season six when um you know that look is that what it's called um mm -hmm. the glance where she and Lucas well, are dancing and then she looks dancing. over at mm -hmm. Nathan for me that kind of cemented that it was Lucas I know they denied and denied it's that they were funny. Sure. for me it was the other way around like that scene I know made me pessimistic about it mm. no that was the scene for me that was like, okay, she's seeing Jack when she looks at Nathan. That was like her looking at her past because she's not going to go dance with Lucas and then be looking at another man. Like, that's not Elizabeth. Um, and, and, and you know what? I didn't think they would go with another Mountie. I didn't. A lot of people thought like it has to be, you know, Elizabeth and a Mountie. But mm. after Jack died, that kind of just went away. Like, and I think a lot of people like who, who weren't really even into the show that long ago understood that. Um, like my aunt, she was like, she had surgery last year and she was bedridden for a couple of weeks and she was binging a bunch of shows. Mm -hmm. When Calls the Heart was one of them. And I didn't know this until a couple months ago. And I was like, oh my gosh, who did you think she was going to end up with when you were watching it? And she was like, oh, I knew it was Lucas. I knew it was Lucas because I knew they were going to, they were not going to put her with another Mountie right. because then what are they doing? Yeah. They're just substituting Jack. And I know some people are like, well, Nathan's not Jack. He's different, but it's still the same thing. It's still the same dangers. It's still the same. She still has to deal with, you know, a Mountie husband, um, yeah. unless they don't have Nathan go on like any dangerous assignments, which I don't know. You I don't really know that I would buy that. Yeah. yeah well, and even I've said this before too, like even if, if even if that were realistic in real life, that's yeah. that's one thing that's fine. Like she knows like how to be a Mountie wife. Like she she's comfortable with that. Like she knows that. That's whatever. Mm -hmm. But like from a storytelling perspective, exactly. like from a show's point of view, like would you tell the same story again? Probably exactly. not. You're probably yep. gonna go a different direction. Mm -hmm. yeah, but totally. Yeah. yeah. And I do know a lot of people who weren't necessarily Luca Beth fans who went back and watched now that, you know, after she chose Lucas, who went back and like watched from season six and they were like, okay, now it makes sense. Yes, I can see from the beginning why it was Lucas. Yeah, um, I've yeah. encountered some people like that too. And they yeah. like, were really big, Nathan, Nathan. I mean, they yep. had no doubts about it. They were very adamant mm -hmm. and then they went back and watched it and, and they kind of saw what we we were fortunate enough to see from the start so yeah mm -hmm. yeah so yeah so for me it was the dance we kind of talked about that now you can kind of see she was already kind of choosing Lucas in like small little ways um and I think that's why we didn't get any dates between Nathan and Elizabeth. Maybe they got close to may maybe having them go out a couple of times, but it it never happened because never they were happened. not going to have they were never going to have her go out with two different men. Let's yeah. remember, this is when calls the heart, and this is Elizabeth. Like this is a character that's that they're trying to portray as like a a good example, like a pure example, right? Of a of a woman. Um, she's not going to play two men she and I don't think she ever really did I think she was just trying to figure stuff out um and for us at the time it was frustrating because we were like oh my gosh pick already why are you kind of dilly-dallying um but yeah I I feel like they weren't going to do two and I think it was always Lucas and I think that draw to Nathan it makes sense to me from the beginning that it was because of Jack I don't think it was retconned. Yeah. I know some people are like, oh, well, they just did it because they wanted Luca Beth together. No, it, it was a process. It was, it's not something that they can just cook up. It's something that they were building for seasons. So anyway, mm -hmm. it led us to- And I also to... think that makes sense also from a 
like like Julian said from a storytelling point of view that she took her time and yeah. I mean for some viewers it might it might seem like it took forever for them to like build this storyline and and make mm -hmm. it progress but for me at least for me uh, I felt it was very realistic and also necessary for them to take so much time like mm -hmm. yeah it was true to life you know I mean yeah. go exactly. right from Especially it's when like, you get a loss like that, it's not like, you know, they they got a divorce, which it went back in those days for the most part. But yes, you know, she lost him; he died, so it was a big emotional journey for her, and it just exactly. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was harder for us, and it felt longer because obviously we have to wait like a year for yeah. the story to continue. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, she's not going to just move on. So well, in a yeah. sense, we have to wait. Yeah. It also like builds the tension, you know, like you don't want just like, oh, here they are together all of a sudden. Like it doesn't, doesn't make it as satisfying, you know, like we waited mm -hmm. so long for it. And that, that made that moment, like that bridge kiss scene was like so heavily watched because mm -hmm. everybody was waiting so long for it. And if we hadn't waited so long for it, it wouldn't have been as good, you know? Exactly. So, oh, and I love also, we don't know. It it worth the wait. For me, we now out of character if she had like moved on really quick because I mean the showrunners had just spent like what five seasons on a different guy like you just can't mm -hmm. make her like move on to another guy right after she has lost her husband yeah. in yeah. such a dramatic way so yeah I felt like the and they it's good they paved it well because it was okay they met she's not sure what to think of him there you know and then they slowly mm. build this friendship they get to know each other a little better they have this common interest in books and then that kind of ties into him encouraging her in her writing and then it kind of builds into you know I think the attraction starts a lot sooner obviously for him because he I think loved her from pretty early on um, but then for her, you started to feel the attraction. Um, and then obviously they started dating and then there's the love declaration. And then now they're, you know, in love and on the way to getting married. So it was so well told. It was like, yeah. mm -hmm. like each season, they kind of just went like step by step. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really well done. It was. The Thank confusing you. part is, how they dated all you know through season eight like they dated they went on dates mm -hmm. and people still thought that she was like that it was like up in the air as soon as she was gonna choose and I was like wait <laughs> but like they've literally been dating <laughs> like, I don't know. anyway but that yeah that was like the confusing part but dude she was she almost kissed him like that picnic rain scene you know like she wanted to kiss him is she really gonna go from being so attracted and having so many feelings for Lucas to just suddenly turning around and being like oh no wait I actually love Nathan all along she's right. not gonna then, do that right and then the outrage when she chose Lucas I'm like not where like that's where like the delusion set in <laughs> just like yeah have you been watching yeah but anyway, no, here we are, though, with our end game. Yes. So excited. So anyway, I've done my whole, like, wanting to kind of summarize how we got from where we were to where we are now. Yeah. So, Jillian, take over. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So we'll talk a little bit about, like, what, what we've seen in previews which we haven't seen much because i don't think they want us speculating crazy stuff um but what we, we could talk seen... about that what speculating <laughs> no about how they haven't shown us as much and how kind of we appreciate that <laughs> i guess in a way yeah i mean i think it's i think <laughs> it's a good thing that they haven't shown us too much um so that people don't just like take off with like all these crazy stories because then if people come up with these storylines in their heads based on what they've seen then they might be disappointed when they exactly. don't see what they've concocted better not to create head. expectations to begin with <laughs> yeah then we'll we'll be good 
So they yeah. haven't given us much like to speculate on, but we have seen that some family of Elizabeth's is in town. Julie is there, which is so great. I love Julie so much. So I'm excited mm -hmm. to see her. And then Aunt Agatha is there, right? Uh -huh. That's all we know about that. We don't know if it's for a wedding. We don't know if it's for an engagement party. Like We don't know. That's all we've seen. And then we know that there are hot springs, which seems fun. Um, every time I see Jack Wagner falling into it like this, I like have a heart attack because I think he's going to hit his head on the corner. <laughs> but he makes it work. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know. Do you guys have any thoughts about what we've seen in previews? So what you just said about Julian and Agatha coming back. Remember, I've said in the past, I really want to see Lucas interact with, um, I was going to say Jillian's family, uh, with Elizabeth's family. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. Um, yes. Yeah, because Union City, when they were talking about, you know, how, um, uh, when she was growing up in Hamilton, how she went to theaters and all that stuff. I was just thinking, man, he would fit in so well with her family because he mm -hmm. understands that, that same exactly. upbringing, right? And I've said this before, I like Jack, but I feel like in season two, when Jack went to Hamilton and he went to that dinner party at Elizabeth's house, you know, the one that Charles was at, and they were all sitting at that table and it was kind of awkward. Um, I feel like, Lucas would have done a little better with the conversation um, just because well, he's grown up in that same environment. Yeah, and, and Jack knew that. Jack knew that. That's what right. was like the driving thing between them was like, he's like, I don't right. belong in this world. Yeah. But like, yeah, yeah Lucas, Lucas, Lucas is different. Raised in that too, and I so. love that. And that's what we love, right? That he's, he's the rich guy and he gets the girl because he's a good guy, not because of, you know, his financial status. Um, and also, I feel like one of the things that they that her family looked down on was um, Jack showing up in a suit rather than tux. I feel like if Lucas showed up, he would be in in a tux. So it's 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 different in the sense like that the the men she's with are different. It's it's like I don't know. I feel like if it was Nathan, sure. it would be different. Yeah, for the story. So I really love mm -hmm. that aspect of it. Um, I would actually like to see Charles. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Right? It would be fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, I, I'm so excited. Did you guys see there's a photo of Lucas helping um, Agatha off the, the carriage? And he's really? got like one hand on his back, I think. Yeah, I, I didn't think you'd uh, seen it because we talked about didn't. it. And he's like helping her off the thing. So we know that man is turning on the charm like right away. I feel oh, like Aunt Agatha. Just a gentleman. Is going to He's just yeah. a gentleman. She's going to approve. She's going to approve. She's going to be like, if only I were fifty years younger, Elizabeth, I would challenge you for him. Okay, I made her super old. Yeah, you know what sure. I mean. in, in my opinion, I don't think he's really turning on the charm. That's just who he is, and like, yeah. she's he's a gentleman right. and to do that kind of for anybody that was stepping off there. Thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, impressions. Yeah, he's definitely trying to make a good impression, but I think he would do that for just about anybody oh, yeah. sure. this is gentleman. yeah yeah i am so excited for lucas and julie to meet i cannot wait i love julie so much and just the way that she's so like kind of like just so youthful you know and just like giddy about like love i think she's gonna i think she's gonna love him she loves mm -hmm. jack and i think she's mm -hmm. gonna love lucas and um actually have they technically met we haven't seen it i don't think but like she was in town yes yeah, she was in where... town for the baptism mm. right yeah did she meet lucas she's seen him wasn't it but... that, that had to be kind of cut out or something rumored yeah. or whatever because i think so yeah what, cut out? like an interaction because of lori because of Lori. So like Julie came. Yeah, oh. oh, that's what it was because they couldn't film anything with like she she came and like filled in as like godmother for right. little Jack because Lori mm -hmm. or uh what's her name? <laughs> Abigail. Abigail was yeah. um godmother. So she came and like refilmed her scene. 
but I don't think there was any interaction between Julie and Lucas. So was, I am excited. Wasn't Julie there when they got the, like the ribbon? The ribbon. When they, yeah. right? When but the library see, opened? Did, but did we see any yeah. interaction though? No, 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 we didn't. But we know that okay. they like sort of shared the same space. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, <laughs> yeah. Them no. yeah, so I wonder how they'll handle that. If they'll, if they'll like act like they've met before or if we'll, mm -hmm. you know. I don't know. Yeah. That'll be interesting. Hmm. I'm excited. But Deb, you said that um, Aunt Agatha is in like the first one or two episodes, right? As far as I know, it's the second one. I don't know if okay. she's in any other ones besides the second one, but okay, yeah, that one for sure. So we she know she's in. there with Julie. So we'll at least see that in mm -hmm. the first couple episodes, probably. Yeah. Yes. Cool. We'll know what's going on. I'm excited for that. Okay, so then there's also Erin Krako's interview with Deidre Behar on Entertainment Tonight. And she said a couple pretty key little nuggets. Blanca, yeah. do you remember what she said? I remember she mentioned something about Lucas having like new opportunities, uh, like work-wise, and that it will mean some sort of conflict for him or he will struggle in some way because change is hard. She, she said mm -hmm. it's not along those lines yeah we don't know really what it's about what it is it about but I don't know it felt like an interesting storyline for me anyway like yeah we, we get to see Lucas like not only with Elizabeth and little Jack which of course it's great but I feel like the more we delve into the character and the more we see of him uh all the better because it's i've said this plenty of times like he's not an open book and mm -hmm. don't always get to see what goes into his mind so i appreciate mm -hmm. like storylines that focus solely on him yeah but yeah yeah do you guys agree <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah i'm excited to see that storyline i do hope that it's like a little bit more like structured than his business struggles last season mm. just because it was like I feel like season nine was like a little bit jumbled like not everything yeah. was answered and mm. I don't know if these season 10 issues with his business stuff will be continuing from that or if it'll be new stuff mm. I don't know yeah. but yeah it'll be it'll be well, good you know, know like you can't just have it all easy, you know? Yeah. No. Well, we know he doesn't have the oil business anymore. That was one other source of income for him, right? That's gone. We know the saloon was set on fire. Um, Not set on fire. I don't know. How did it happen? Do we know? I don't think we know. But there was, but it was, a portion of it was burned. So he's going to have to have that fixed. Um, And good Lord, I'm like mentioning all the spoiler photos here. Um, <laughs> There is a photo of Lucas sitting at a table in the saloon with Jerome Smith. Um, so the guy that we saw, you know, the, the guy with the, mm -hmm. the beard and mustache, we yeah. see him with the, you know, very proper accent. Um, so he's back and we have to wonder, I feel like that's got to be, you know, business related because you know, I, I'm pretty sure he's not starting like a beet farm or something, you know, like <laughs> see him not. carrying the basket of beets <laughs> to the saloon. But I'm pretty sure that he's not, you know, turning into a beet farmer or anything. Um, So my guess is like it's some other, you know, business event venture that he's um trying to set up. I don't know how Jerome Smith plays into it because was he interested in the mines or was he interested in the oil? It was the oil, right? I can't uh, remember. I remember. I don't even remember. It's so long. Oil, I, just remember, it's oil. I just remember Lucas saying Jerome Smith. <laughs> like yeah, he did. We'll find out soon enough. Let's just yeah. cause yeah, I yeah. don't I don't remember either. But yeah, we have to find out what the heck happens with the mines now with you know Henry. Yeah. We know he's back, which I'm so excited about because yeah. I love Henry. Me too. Um, and I wanna see if he and Lucas reconnect you know if they I don't know if they'll go into business together um we'll have to see that would be nice but yeah yeah it should be interesting because there's got to be some kind of other because they 
I think something said, I think Aaron somewhere said some new industries or an article might have said some new industries coming to town. So it's like more than just more than just the hot springs. Um, so something maybe he because I don't think he's very good at just like doing just the saloon. I think you would need to. And I think the saloon maybe even becomes more of they kind of they're entering the prohibition phase. So I think that they might have to actually have turned that into more of a, a restaurant, maybe more of a, a dining spot for the hotel or whatever. So I didn't think about that. Yeah, yeah. we are going into the roaring twenties and stuff. I, I don't know. Is the show going to include that? Is the question? That's just it. Like, they, they a lot of times don't include history of any kind, like the end of the war or anything yeah. like that or going, nobody even went to war. <laughs> You know, I, know. So, so I don't know how much realistic, but I would think that that would be kind of a bigger <laughs> thing because they can't just be sitting there drinking in a saloon and have it be realistic that they're, you know. Yeah, in that's, the a yeah. that's a so good point. That's a good point. Kind of interesting. So I don't know what he's doing, but hick him with that bell or whatever behind the, almost like a, there is, <laughs> seems like he's opening his own little hotel with his own bell that he can ring like he did it back in Union city that's what I it kind of had come back to that was kind of funny so I mean the I saloon, the saloon is a hotel right right I think he gets like a, an official like check-in desk though at the front yeah kind of, uh, that that is not that mayor was anymore. so funny yeah yeah because yeah, we have a new we're gonna have a new mayor too I wonder who it's gonna be we I are? want it to be Lee well uh -huh. we should right because uh Hickam resigned Oh, that's right. Yeah, I think, so, was, so I think it was leaked or whatever. I have forgotten. My God. You're right. My vote goes to Lee. Me too. But, you know. Me too. Yeah, and too. now that you mentioned those enterprises, Linda, I'm going to kind of call back to something I've said before. Um, One of my favorite seasons is season four because that railroad storyline that went through mm -hmm. that entire season, it brought so many new characters um, and it brought like I don't know. I thought it was a really exciting season because um, they they focus on a lot of students too, new students for Elizabeth, which I really liked. I don't know if they'll do that again, um, but that was one of my favorite things. I would really love for them to, I don't know how many characters they can bring in and stuff, yeah. but if they can kind of, yeah, like they, they do have to grow the town, right? They've kind of already said that. So I don't know how these enterprises are going to play into it, like these new businesses or whatever. Um, but yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, that would kind of make sense with what I think was in, I think this was in Erin's interview about how she said there's a lot of guest stars this this season. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it fit into yeah. a lot of people coming in and out of town, like you're saying there, Div. Yeah. That would be great. Do you think we will see Arthur again this season? See who? Do you remember Arthur? Arthur? Yeah. Yeah, that him? guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one flirting with uh, Fiona. Fiona, yeah. Do you think it will be back? I don't know. I hope so. I don't know. Hi, Tim. Well, I mean, Fiona I mean, needs some kind of storyline. Like, do something with her. My God, don't just send her away when you can't think of what to do with her. Um, yeah. Well, I was thinking, to be honest, I was thinking like business, like business wise. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Give her something, and if you want to show women as like you know strong and independent during that time, which mm. they do try to show with Fiona, give her a job. Like, I mean, wait, she was still doing the. Was she still doing the salon, or did she get rid of the salon? No, she's still, she still doing it. I think so. Okay, so she was doing that and the oil thing. Yeah. Okay, where are we at? Um. I wanted to also touch on a couple of other things that Erin said in her interview. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Go so Erin also said in her interview um, that it's going to be a roller coaster of a season. Mm -hmm. And then she said it's going to be a fun roller coaster. So, um, and she said it's like super packed full of stuff. So I'm hoping that we get some like really good storylines that have like direction and conclusions to mm -hmm. some extent, you know, like some, maybe some cliffhangers, but not like just like left in the dust kind of things. And then yeah. um, 
because we we got a little bit uh like i don't know some of the things were just like never answered in season right. seven and eight really like felt, i don't know like, that there was no purpose there just yeah <laughs> just for the sake of story storytelling something but yeah yeah I, so hopefully it's yeah. packed full of good stories like that quest good. ideas that you know with the new showrunner you're gonna have mm -hmm. some, like an outside perspective coming into it so hopefully there's you know, just some things that are new and different and yeah yeah it'll be interesting to have a new showrunner for sure yeah and then she also said like one of Elizabeth's struggles this season is um just like with little Jack growing up and having questions about his dad so I know you guys probably aren't as interested in that storyline as I am but like I am interested to see how she navigates that and how I am too Older. Elizabeth and Lucas together kind of like talk to him about yeah. it because exactly. yeah that'll be like I mean that would be in real life like a really important thing to be mm -hmm. open with you know so I'm excited to see how they talk about that no, I, I mean, yeah, it's realistic. So for that reason, yeah, it ha you have to do it. You can't just pretend that, you know, Jack didn't exist or Jack's not his real father. You can't. So, yeah. No, I think it needs to be addressed. You you were done, Julian? Yeah, I'm done. Because I had, uh, like, a question for you guys. Tell us. Okay. Yeah. Like, with regard to the interview, because they mentioned that the, there, there is going to be a life or death situation this season. Mm. obviously not ending in someone's death mm -hmm. but uh what i wonder was uh who do you guys think is going to be in that situation and why mm. i kind of wonder if it's rosemary when she has her baby mm. that's what i thought too i could see that happening yeah. i haven't thought because, of that because they they did show like the whole like the whole town was like outside their house with candles mm -hmm um so I kind of wonder if something like just goes a little bit awry during that um well, but during I that period they had issues with childbirth you know birth and people sure, dying yeah. from childbirth so I definitely thought that as immediately myself as well mm -hmm. I don't think it's that what do you think I it is I I don't know but I don't think it's Rosemary mm. I so who would you say it is Dave like sure i would say not rosemary or lee i would say any other characters but those two because i i just don't i mean because remember she had the the chicken pox thing in season seven mm. um would they really put her in another like life or death kind of thing yeah i mean we know she has a difficult pregnancy but um we do what oh you mean like a difficult time getting pregnant no delivering this child or because like you said they have like a vigil like a candlelight vigil kind oh. of thing outside her house oh. i don't know who i don't know i i will say when i heard aaron say that i thought about that cl that little like snippet where elizabeth is writing um uh, what's the name of her horse i should Sergeant? know this out uh, Sarge Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. How can I forget that? I remember Newton, but I can't remember Sergeant. Um, where she's writing Sergeant and she looks worried. Um, I don't know if it's bad, but that's what I thought about. But mm. yeah, I, I don't know who it is. Hmm. And and I thought that's when she was worried as well. And I thought maybe she's on that horse going to get the doctor to come to. To come to, to who? <laughs> 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 who? <laughs> who is it? I was gonna say to the baby, um, but no, to Rosemary. But you know, and then at night they're all surrounding her. But I don't know. But yeah, I, mean, like, is... I would love yeah. for it to be Lucas, but I don't think we will be that lucky. Yes, like, that is that has been our dream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, we we never get our dream, did <laughs> we? Did we got our couple? <laughs> well, yes, but. What we also want to you do never get like... everything you want, right? Okay, you guys, <laughs> what I want, I want my Gustav back, not my our, our Gustav back. I need him back. Like, 
Mark I, seen, I have not seen him like at all. I haven't seen him playing his accordion or like, you know, pouting like in the background of the saloon and any of the saloon shots. I hope he's there. He has to be there. I mean, have you, have you checked his eye on the guy, right? He has to be the cake guy. Yeah, he's got to make the cake. Mm, yeah. He'll be there for his cousin's wedding if that happens. I, I always forget that. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that, they're the, that they're cousins? Yes. I'm still yeah. not over there. Well, we I'm were both not fans of it. Yeah. Random. Unfortunately, yeah. it's canon. But, but it gives, I like um, it. It okay. gives Gustav more screen time. You mean time. it's canon, right? I Isn't like it canon? It. Yeah, it's canon. No. It's, it's a canon. canon. <laughs> I like um, it. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I like them as employee employer and yeah, like the too. employee it's staffing. Like, it's yeah, so out of the blue for me. Yeah. Don't don't let us ruin it for you guys. You guys, I'm talking about our oh. audience because, um, I mean, oh, I'm talking to me. <laughs> it doesn't change the dynamic in the right. sense that you no. know. I no. do think it's gonna be funny because now um elizabeth is going to be his cousin-in-law so to speak so it's going to be funny seeing him like sass lucas and be all nice to elizabeth um they could make some fun scenes with that yeah showing elizabeth how to cook and stuff like that yes <laughs> showing lucas how to cook it'll be it'll be fun hopefully he's yeah. there for 10 mm -hmm. and 11 the one thing i wanted to bring up is uh Elizabeth in the Union City dress that mm. we see in a little snippet of the mm -hmm. one of the promos um yeah. and it looks like she and Lucas are gonna have a dinner date um did I say date did I say date yeah oh my gosh a date they yeah. have a date they go on a date <laughs> they skipped over it last season but sure I'll I'll take a date <laughs> um I don't know what they're gonna do but I just really love the call back to it yeah. I really love yeah. that this time it's different. This time her wearing the dress is different. Um, I don't know if they're going to talk about Union City. Um, they should. Um, oh, actually, oh, yeah. I like, the, I like the, the suit jacket he wears. It's like a, like a different one. I wish he were wearing that too, but not a big deal. Um, the dress is more important. So I'm excited about that. That's going to be fun to find out where that's going to go. Mm hmm yeah I'm so excited to see dates um like like I said earlier like we asked for like we wanted dates yep. and we didn't get any last season but we're getting them this season I think mm -hmm. haven't there been two in the promos or is it just the one that we've seen what do you I mean dates? Maybe, yeah maybe it's just the one that I'm thinking of I don't know well, there's I just that, remember there's thinking like one where she's like really dressed up in some silver. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Can I just tell people, please stop speculating about that one. Like people are getting nervous because, um, well, I can't stop you if you want to speculate, speculate, but <laughs> don't because they get like worried about her expression. They're like, oh my gosh, what happens? Because it looks like she's in a white dress and people are just, no, like no, I said, yeah. see how I how I speculated about season nine and the box scene and I was totally wrong. Um, it's better not to stress. Yeah, just don't um, worry about it. Just don't worry yeah, about it. Yeah, just don't worry about it. Just, it's we've also, come so far. It's a silver dress. I doubt they would show us her wedding dress. Yeah, yes. no way. Right. Correct, like, no. It's just a fancy dress fancy and dress. and it's a moment. She's like, what? Like, she could be like, somebody could be like, oh, little Jack broke a glass. A cup, a teacup, and she's she like, could just be trying on dresses, right? I mean, she could just be. I mean, trying who knows? No, I, not even it could be. One. It could be anything. No, so, she's yeah. in the saloon, so I think the dress oh. is pretty like set set. But like, what? Who knows? You know, like, like what yeah. it's for. We don't. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, guys. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah. I we agree. got our couple. Like that is like the That's biggest right. biggest hurdle we've ever had to cross um but yeah so i actually imagine, wanted to say what can you imagine if they like broke them up <laughs> <What>? <laughs> if you thought the triangle thing was bad this would be like astronomical 
<laughs> nuclear disaster. <laughs> they people would break Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> just just star fan base. Um no, we know that's not gonna happen. They know better than that. Come on. No, no. They don't want to get married. There's nothing to worry about. Like they're going to no. get married. So I feel like we don't know a lot about this writer yet, but I do like that we're gonna get dates again. Um, I don't know how many. I like the callback to Union City. Um, I felt like they dropped the ball on the I Love Yous last season. It should have happened a lot sooner, but yes, I won't I won't go into that too much. I'm hoping to hear more I Love Yous this season um, where it's just, you know, because the last time they said it, it was like their first time. So now it's going to be like just them saying it as a couple. And I'm just going to keep going back and like watching season six now and being like, my God, I cannot believe how far they've come. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm going to do. That's yeah. I, I, like, do. I like what you said about Union City. Like you're, you're getting my hopes <laughs> like high <laughs> now that you expect, like, like you shared your theory about them possibly mm, talking about that night in this season because they have. Yeah. Like they now have a, a bit of a history for them to revisit. Yeah, and that book has that. Still, that that leather bound copy of um, what's her face, uh, Virginia Woolf's Virginia book Wolf. that he gave her. It has a yeah. whole different meaning now. Like when he gave it to her, it was you know her friend Lucas giving her like yeah. this moment from their time together. That, uh, her now, <laughs> yes. Her fiance. Um, on their non-date now it's yes. like her future husband slash husband because we are yeah. getting that damn dang wedding by the end of the season um don't take my word for it I, i'm pretty sure we will though um but now it's gonna be her husband who gave it to her on what really now was their date what was what she called a perfect trip um so it's gonna have a whole different meaning which i really <laughs> love that obviously so that so does that dress now yeah um I think it's going to be good. It's like a candlelight dinner. They're going to make it cute and romantic. I, and... If he, like, if she comes up in that dress and he says anything about, like, how, like, if he mentions the, like, the fact that she wore that on their Union City date, mm-hmm. I will scream. I will scream. <laughs> I was so excited. I thought and you were going to say you would blush. But the, that's I t- would blush, too. I think he I is the one that blushes. Right <laughs> <laughs> and we know about me and the blushing. You already know about me and the blushing. I will blush too. Yeah. I I probably won't watch it. And Jillian will be like, what? How can you not watch it? <laughs> I don't know how you can't. I watch it a thousand times. And you no. just like, nope. <laughs> you get so and shy. I'm, like, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm so glad it happened. And I'm like, I'll watch it like the first time because it's happening as I'm watching the show. And then maybe I'll watch it a time or two. And then I get so shy about it. And I'm like, I'm not shy it's about cute. It. I watch it. I I think it's just yeah we have different approaches there I'm not opposed to like um accordion mood music in the background because that means our dudes there um well as long as it doesn't interrupt them like it did yes I was gonna say I'm still a little bit bitter about that yeah I know stupid guy he ruined that moment (laughs) yeah um (laughs) yeah but it would it would be cute it'd be like they were in France um Sure. But yeah, that that's one thing I'm looking for. Oh, the bridge. <gasps> We're getting the bridge again. Oh <gasps> yeah. That's another thing. That's right. We didn't get the bridge last season. Yeah, we didn't get well, they that. took their foreheads. They touched their foreheads together, right? Yes. Yes. <gasps> Rest Ooh, before. It's a them. very so they're probably gonna talk about that because that was like a big moment for them too. And that's like a very Anne of Green Gables y moment. Oh, which we God. were so much, yes. We were talking about that since season season eight, like even before season eight started, like we saw that like brief little uh, promo of them yeah. like on the bridge. And we were like, okay, mm-hmm. this is still an Anne of Green Gables moment. This is another possible yeah. sign. Maybe we're overreacting to the end game. I don't know. Um, yeah, we got it right. Um, you guys. There's that. And there was one more. And of course I can't remember. But yeah, no, we're going to have, I feel like things that should have happened in season nine are going to happen in season 10. Yeah. And that shouldn't take away from season. 
it shouldn't take away from season nine because we still mm-hmm. got great scenes, right? Yes. But we're going to get some really good stuff. It seems like they're going to call back to things that they experienced earlier mm-hmm. in their relationship. Yeah. Which I and think, honestly, like the bridge yeah. scene that we saw in the preview, like the cinematography looked so pretty, like it looked so yes. good. It wasn't like they were like, like they definitely knew, like they had us in mind when they were filming that, like they wanted yep. that to look really good. Also, yep. can I just say my phone is being propped up by all of the Anna Green Gables movies right now, the DVD cases. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I love it. Yeah, me too. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's what I was going to say. I hope they bring the bookmobile back because I'm like, why did you just oh randomly gosh. talk about that? Bring that back. I forgot Especially about now that. that. Yeah, now there are going to be all these kids, you know? Um, I forgot I don't know what they that. could possibly do. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm was so excited. Okay. Yeah, bring that back. Make that like because... a thing that they can do. Yeah. Because if she does that, they can go into like the you know like some dangerous situations like yes. together and yes. oh I totally forgot about the bookmobile yeah me too yeah oh because it was so random they brought it up in like one no maybe two scenes I think right there was one where yeah. she's talking to Nathan about it and it comes up I can't remember and then well, for sure it's when Lucas okay. goes and inspects the the book mo- mo- is it mobile mobile whatever um but, yeah the, the mobile when library the cart <laughs> when he goes and like inspects it um when joseph is working on it yeah. so hopefully yeah. because it felt just kind of like it was there and then it was just we didn't no, hear about I don't, it, or yeah. see it again. no it was like so, at the end of the season though so i don't think it's random i think it's setting up for season 10 you know no it was mid-season it was like episode six or something like that when did they bring it up again I don't know. I mean, I don't know, but I feel like I feel like they were setting up that story for season ten. Yeah, you know, I hope so. No, from what I remember, they brought it up mid season and then it never came up again. But it's been a year. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's that would be nice if they if they brought that back. And also because it would be a way, or it could be a way to bring up more literary discussions between them, which I miss. Like they haven't. <laughs> like yeah. had, mm, and that you know, was the one thing intellectual was conversations that they had in season seven was it yeah right? yes I, yeah. I think, I, on I, think I heard anything. that they're gonna have some uh writers like come in for book signings I really not, I just dreamed it but I swear that I read it somewhere um in one of these spoiler kind of things I haven't really been keeping up with them all but I thought that mm-hmm. they said that they would have some book signings there throughout the season kind of thing and if they do nice. you know, there were a lot of good writers of the time so um it'd be again a way to bring literary like you were saying yeah. Monica, back yeah. into their i have a good feeling about it girls because I, you good. guys are yeah. getting me more excited like the more we talk the more excited i become me so, too good, but thank so you that's why i thought i'd start watching the marathon off and on when i'm around because it'll get me in the mood you know because it's uh-huh. been so long Okay, so that's going to be it for today. Um, the rest of the season, what you can expect from us is probably some episode recap kind of thing after a few episodes, okay? So like every three or four episodes, we'll do a little podcast. Um, so we can we can stay up to date with uh, some conversation between us and you guys let us know what you're thinking. We'll let you know what we're thinking, okay? Make sure you follow us on twitter at lugabeth lounge and instagram and youtube at the lugabeth lounge beautiful <laughs> okay bye guys okay bye bye, bye. oh my bye. gosh it's been so long <laughs> <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> i'm so prepared <laughs> we know he has a basket of beets <laughs> got, got, it. It. got it got it got it got it got it, got it. What's it talk about? I don't know.